Aton pinangka ng mga fathers, especially ang atong parish priest o ang atong father superior. Um, dili ko makita kay naka face mask bong tanan, pero I am sure naga smile mo, no? Kauban sa atong mga PPC o parishioners nga limited lang kay uh, is MECQ kita. Special greetings sa atong mga egzoon diha sa inyong panimalay. Atong mga parishioners who are joining us in this Eucharistic celebration via live streaming. In this occasion, we convert digital space into worship space. So we may be apart physically, but in faith, we are united in spirit and heart. So physically apart, united in spirit and heart. Kaniyong tanan. Thank you sa inyong pag-uban, pagkuyog sa kining atong santos kay Eucharistia. I could not imagine that we will celebrate our fiesta na maukinin nga sa Pero love will find a way. So even though nga kini limited lang o kini lisod pa kaayo o challenging, but we continue to offer our love to the Lord and most especially kay Mama Mary. Our Lady of Carmel. Mga inigugma, nga igsuon kay Kristo. Na ay teacher sa grade 2, she gave a lesson sa iyang mga estudyante on magnetic force. Kay science man, no? Magnetic force. At the end, kay mga gagmay pa, as class review, it's the teachers are familiar with this, you have to review para makuha ang lesson. She used the creative format. Kana bang game nga my name is? So dapat i-guess sa mga bata kung unsa ngahan my name is. The children will complete the sentence. So mauning konteksto. So after teaching them about magnetic force, she asked the children, Children, my name starts with the letter M. And I am a six-letter word. Remember, magnetic force. Ang ilang klase? Starts with letter M. Six-letter word. And I pick up things that are scattered. What is my name? A little boy answered instantly. Mother. Yes, of course, the exact scientific answer would have been magnet. But the little boy, Bibo Kayo, raises his hand. Pag ingon sa teacher starts with letter M, six letter word, I pick up things that are scattered. The boy immediately thought of his mother and he said, Confident Kayo, ang sabat, ang tubag, ang answer. Mother. Sabagay, six letter word put. Starts with letter M. Dili lang magnet. Pero mother. I always smile when I remember this story. Nga no man. The magnet exactly does this. Gathering and picks up things that are scattered because of magnetic force. Starts with letter M. It was almost just spontaneous conviction of a young, pure, innocent heart. In his heart of hearts, he knows, Chak to siya. The answer is mother. <laughs> mother. Ang inahan, aga pick up sang gamit, gahipos, o gather sa mga scattered things on the floor, o sa mga kwarto. The mother's love that has a unique, some kind of a magnetic force. Karong Adlawa, as we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Carmel, we acknowledge joyfully this spiritual, magnetizing, and powerful force that we call Mama Mary, under the title of Our Lady of Carmel. Tinood Sa atong experience, ang inahan na ay some kind of an invisible 
magnetic force. Kung magluto ang atong inahan, ang pamilya nagatigom around the table to enjoy the food. Kita yun na sa TV ang asim kilig. Magluto ang nanay sang sinigang. Enjoy ang tanan. May ara pa nga pag shake-shake sang ilang shoulder kay lami kaayo sang sinigang. It is believed by scholars, although not explicitly written, that Mary has this binding effect upon the apostles and probably, most probably, she united them around food, around food prepared for them. Here, this is very important. For the apostles who were not perfect, quarreling, and also finding difficulties as they learn the real meaning of how to follow the Lord, Mama Mary provided this spiritual binding effect. So Mama Mary magnetized them to Jesus Christ through her cooking. Again, this is not explicitly, but there are scholars who would say, because Mary joined the apostles, especially at Pentecost, while hidden, Mary, most probably again, the warmth of her maternal love and cooking, the scattered apostles found gathering strength, unity, and even comfort. Dili ba kung magluto ang atong inahan? Grabe kit kayong epekto sa atong makihigup ka lang sa baw, sa imong nanay. Do medyo makalimtan mo nga bigo ka. Ang ako ginahan dili mato siya kabalo magluto pero ang iya to ginaluto dili man luto kay ginamix lang mao macaroni salad. No? <laughs> pero if every time I see macaroni salad, I would always remember the love of my mother that brings me back home. Mao kini ang invisible magnetizing effect sa maternal heart via gastronomical you know, magnetizing. Ikaduha, second. The wedding at Cana, if you examine it closely, and I'm sure most of us are familiar with that, it's the second luminous mystery. Uh, nanay reaction sa isa ka nanay, ah, tinood na nga, kano man na may mystery sa rosary nga may kasal-kasal, no? But rather, it's the manifestation of Jesus at the wedding at Cana. Here, if you are familiar, as you recall this gospel episode, it was actually a brewing family crisis. Most often, people would think that the miracle was about the water turned into wine. That's true. But this is actually a miracle for the sake of marriage and family. Why? The couple was at the verge of possibly erupting in a quarrel because of the wine running out. Unsang implication? They will be embarrassed, and worse, it will signal bad luck for the beginning of the rest of their married life. Kinahurut man ang bino para sa tanan. Now, did you notice Mary was at the center of all this storm? She calmly helped resolve it through uniting the couple, the servers, and the wine tasters, and by pointing them to Jesus. Follow what he says. And yes, the miracle happened. This was not just changing water into wine. Behind this was the force of Mary's intercessory prayer. This is why we pray the rosary and our novenas to her. Father Patrick Payton is famous for this, and I'm sure you memorize this. The family that prays together stays together. I'm sure nagatubag mo sa inyong panimalay like us here. The family, when we pray to Mama Mary and we are pointed to Jesus, we grow and we are bonded in love and strength. This is the beauty of Mary's spiritual magnetizing effect. 
And finally, we are devoted to her because she gathers our petitions and needs and brings them to Jesus. Now, the last point would be, you know, at the cross, my dear brothers and sisters, Peter would have run away like the others. But Mary's strength inspired him and John and the other women to stay at the foot of the cross. Maukiti ang nindot ng Ebanghelyo proclaimed to our hearing a while ago. Mary stood at the foot of the cross. She stayed till the end with her son. It must have been devastating to see your own son suffering and dying, but she stayed. Many theologians would comment the position of Mary standing, not even falling or groping at the floor, is a signal of strength and resolute love till the end. This is so powerful, and this is a binding force for Peter, John, and the women, and the rest of the apostles later when they realize this. From pain, we normally escape. That's human instinct. Very illogical kung may pain, tapos maduol ka pa. Kanaba pa nakita ka iro ng buang, maduol ka, dilioy, mudagan ka in the opposite direction. Pag imo uyatan ang kaldero nga mainit, do you let your hands stay maingon ka? Wow, init ka ayo. No, dili na. Kikuha mo gulpi. Kaya nga naman, you want to move away from pain. From extreme pain, all the more the reason to run away. Mary's love as a mother became the source of strength because she loved till the end. What a tremendous love. And she showed this, gave this to Jesus, and testified with this kind of love to the apostles. In the last moment, she strengthened also the disciples who remained. The dual instruction, behold your son and behold your mother, was not only a directive of entrustment, it was also the will of Jesus, fully knowing that his apostles will be broken by fear and devastated by his coming death. He wants them to turn to Mary as a source of strength and unity. Behold your mother. Behold our Lady of Carmel. On a personal note, I am a son of the Carmelite Monastery. I grew up as a young boy, always looking forward to July 16, wearing our gala uniform, shining our black shoes, and because when we go to Carmel after the Mass, we will drink caramelized coffee, which is more of milk and sweet than coffee. And we will have a good banquet. We can really eat to our heart's content. But Carmel was also the day it was announced that I would be missioned here in Cebu. It was under Mama Mary's intercession and guidance this kind of love at the foot of the cross radiates and binds us all together. Instead of running away, we go to Jesus. Mary is our source of strength and unity. For Jesus knows the power of his mother's love, a love that could not be destroyed by any force. They say the umbilical cord may be cut, between sa inahan o sa anak, but the bond between mother and child because of love forever remains. Maokinig karon sa atuang celebration, maokinig rason na kita gatuo nga si Maria, dili lamang sa atong parokya, pati buok Cebu o kalibutan, si Maria atuang inahan, magtutudlo sa kateling banong kaiusahan. When we are scattered by wrong desires and look for answer to our hunger elsewhere, Mama Mary magnetizes us to the Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ, our true food and true drink. When we are scattered by problems 
and tend to resort to conflict and rage. Mother Mary magnetizes us to the path of prayer where we find calmness and God's solutions. When we are overwhelmed by the cross, especially during this pandemic, kining virus na invisible na dili naton makontrol, ang iyang antidote mao man ang isa ka invisible force nga mao ang gugma ni Mama Mary. Mama Mary, or Mother Mary, magnetizes us to the strength of her love and ultimately to the power of the love of Jesus on the cross that could not be vanquished. Therein, we will find not only unity, but strength and hope, not only to survive, but to overcome, to heal, and to be strong. Brothers and sisters, I pick up things scattered on the floor. I am a six-letter word. I start with letter M. My name is Mother Mary. For us parishioners, for us devotees, for us Christian believers, ang atuhang resounding answer, Mother, Mother Mary, Our Lady of Carmel. So help us God.